Hello stock stalkers, welcome back to the channel where you get regular updates on Dubai and Abu Dhabi stock market, also where I share my technical analysis so you can learn for free. Market is open, it's 11.30 in the morning. We are seeing DFM is up by 17.50 points almost or it's up by 0.50%. We can see today Ajman Bank is performing very well, it's up by 1.69%. It opened flat but as of now it's trading at 1.20, day's high is at 1.21. Another interesting stock for today is Emirates and Bidi Bank. Previous closing was 13.05. I had also uploaded a video specifically for Emirates and Bidi Bank. Just in case if you have missed it, I will provide the i card right at the top. You may click and watch that video. As of now, it's trading at 13.20. Yes, it tried to break the resistance of 13.25 and now it's very important to see today's closing, whether it's closing above 13.25 or it's coming back within the range. I will also show you on the chart, but let's have a glance on overall market, how it's performing. Imar Properties, I had uploaded a video yesterday. As of now, it's trading at 5.93. The index is at 3,333 as of now. Yes, we are still in green. Let me show you the chart. Yesterday I had mentioned in my analysis, market is still in a range. It's still not bullish. We are seeing a bounce today right from the support zone. This marked area is support area. Today we are seeing a green candle right into our support zone. Yet this is not bullish, we are only seeing a bounce from the support zone. As of now, it's at 3331. Let's see how the market closes, we still got plenty of time. As I had mentioned yesterday, we want to see a closing above the resistance of 3350. Once we see a close above this level, then we can expect it to hit the next resistance or the major hurdle that is between 3390 to 3400 area. Let's also compare with ADX at the same time how ADX market is performing. I'm talking about the index. Let me change it to ADX. So this is the index of ADX on my right and this is the index of DFM on my left. So DFM is positive so far, it's green. ADX is not very interesting, it opened flat but as of now it's trying to retest the lower zone that is 10,250 area. Most likely I think it will push up during the day, for now it's in red but DFM it's still positive, it's in green. It would be very interesting to see how it performs after 3,340 as this is immediate resistance for now. Hopefully we should see some green candles to confirm market is in positive territory. Where is the territory? Right here. Once it crosses this level, then we can see market is in positive direction or in positive zone. ADX, it's still trying to recover. We can see a push to the upside and now it's retracing. As I had mentioned in my previous analysis, in my previous video on ADX index, again, if you have missed the video, I will provide the iCard right at the top. Watch it so that you can understand how the price action works. This is the push to the upside and now we are in correction phase. This correction is up till 38% which is positive, which is still healthy. We want to see a bounce now to resume its uptrend and cross the resistance of 10,365 zone. So these were the indexes of UAE stock market that is DFM and ADX. Let's have a look at the stocks. Emirates and BD Bank I had mentioned. Let me clear the double screen so that we can see in a bigger picture right here. Emirates NBD Bank, I had uploaded a video on this one specifically right at this place after looking at this bullish candle. It closed right at the resistance that is 13.25. Previously we have seen whenever market was trying to cross it was getting rejected and back to the support zone that is 12.85 area. Today market opened with a gap down opening, we can see some weakness here, but fortunately it's trying to cross the resistance that is 13.25, high of 13.30 as I mentioned. So it's very important to see how the market closes today. This is a heavy weighted stock, if this moves up, obviously index also moves along with it. Let's check out Salik, it's performing very nice today and then we will have a look at Imar properties. Salik is in a clear defined uptrend we are seeing. It's making higher highs and higher lows. It's in an uptrend. 
today we are seeing a gap up opening this was the last closing today it opened with a gap up so this can be set as inside candle we are waiting for candle close if it closes green today most likely we can see continuation to the upside this will be bullish so Salic overall is looking positive let's have a look at MR properties still in negative zone as I mentioned it's rounding off now so potentially we can see inverted cup and handle formation today it opened flat it's trying to climb up but again it's getting rejected today's candle close is again important as I mentioned in order to invalidate this bearish chart pattern at least let it cross the first resistance of 6.00 and then we want to see a close above 6.15 once we see a closing above this level now we can say MR is bullish and it's in a positive zone as of now it's still negative nothing interesting even if it closes green today below this resistance of 6.00 nothing interesting it will be just a bounce there are good chances it can go up hit the resistance and then come down again so MR for me it's still in a no trading zone let's check out some other stocks TCOM nothing interesting very low volumes no major trades happening in TCOM as of now last candle is also negative we are just seeing similar kind of reaction we saw in MR it is rounding off similarly in the same pattern we saw inverted cup and handle and we saw a breakdown as well so this is bearish for me so let's check out some other stocks Empower it's very slow thin volumes nothing interesting basically the thing is it's holiday season for christmas and new year most of the traders and investors are out on holidays so only retail traders as of now in the market talim as you can see after this huge red candle it's just going sideways nothing interesting just mark this level once we see a breakout of this resistance that is 2.65 this will be interesting for a buy as of now still in a no trading zone it can even break the support and go down to retest this support areas that is 2.55 and 2.50 then dr is also flat nothing interesting it tried to move up but no bullish price action yet this will be bullish once we see a close about 0.515 and then we can slowly and steadily expect it to go higher at 0.540 for now it's wait and watch game MR development is positive today we can see some bullish price action here also it's following this trend line it's in a channel so more upside momentum is expected in MR development slowly and steadily it's making positive price action so yes MR development is good let's check out Abu Dhabi stocks IHC is waiting for a breakout I think most likely after the new year as of now it's in a range right here so what do we do when a stock is in a range we wait for a breakout it's been consolidating for so many weeks so hopefully we can expect a breakout we have a history IHC consolidates and then it makes a move to the upside similar pattern is seen here as well it was in a range for so many weeks and then boom to the upside so IHC is still positive we are seeing some buying pressure right at the bottom somewhere around 406 as of now it's trading at 409.60 so hopefully once we see a breakout we can expect a bigger move targets on IHC are already achieved so let's be patient and see how it performs Aldar is trying to be positive I can see a bullish chart pattern that is under formation I'm waiting for a green candle right at the support this marked zone is support area we can see potentially inverted head and shoulder if market moves up from here this will be very bullish we can again expect to see at least 4.90 area right here so this should be your next target in case if market moves up crosses this resistance then we are ready to see price coming in this area so for now let's wait and watch most of the stocks are slow as i just mentioned december is christmas and new year season so let's wait and see how it performs multiply is also under pressure we can see it's in a consolidation phase right at the top it can be tricky again wait and watch game here it can either break the support come down to retest this area that is 4.40 area or it can also go 
and break this resistance of 5.00 and then make a new high. So multiply is also in a range. Let's wait for a breakout. Next is Q holding. Nothing interesting here. Burjil is slow. Oh, sorry, Buruj is slow. Burjil is also flat. Most of the stocks are in a downtrend. They are gearing up for a reversal. We can see a downtrend here, but here it's going flat. So potentially a breakout is expected. Let's see if the breakout is to the upside or it can come down, break the support and go lower from here. Hopefully we don't see this scenario. And then M steel is also getting rejected at 1.75 area and now it's going down. If this is the first leg and this is the higher leg, I want to see a higher high from here to confirm it has reversed and now it's ready to resume its uptrend after this solid momentum to the upside. This was a huge rally that we saw in M steel or Arkan. Americana is dead. I had mentioned about this in yesterday's video. It is right at the support right here. This is the support for Americana. A small candle does not confirm exactly. This is what I had mentioned. That is the reason guys we should not rush. Be patient. Be calm. Market will give us good opportunities. I had mentioned this candle does not confirm if this is bullish yet. Yes gap is now filled. We can see Americana have just filled up the gap today. After gapping up on the third day of its listing, most likely it should reverse from here and at least we can see some kind of buying pressure right at the bottom to see a hammer candle. Today's candle close is very important. Forty globe, nothing interesting. It broke this trend line and since then it's been just retesting this trend line again and again. A green candle will confirm that Forty globe is now in bullish zone. So let's wait for the candle. Invictus slow and steady but now it's giving us good signals. This was resistance previously. Right at the same zone we are seeing a bounce and now market is trying to gain momentum from this level that is 3.80. If today it closes with a solid green candle this would be a confirmation that in coming days this is now ready to go high. 4.00 is next resistance then 4.10. 4.20 respectively but today's candle close is important also we should see what are the volumes in Invictus for today. AD ports is looking very interesting to me we can see some bullish price momentum here today's candle is very big very good with good volumes as of now it's trading at 5.80 if it closes somewhere around here this is a confirmation that now AD ports is about to go up from here. Next resistance at this level that is 6.00. Adnoc distribution is still down. Adnoc drilling it gave us some sort of relief yesterday after this push to the upside came back for a correction. A green candle after hammer candle indicates that fresh buying have started. Today as of now it's trading at 3.02. So if it closes positive yes we can expect some momentum to the upside but still this stock is in a downtrend. Yes, early bird entry is recommended here. We can potentially see a double bottom chart pattern or W. Once it crosses this level that is 3.12, this would be a confirmation that chart pattern now is in place. Ishraq is very interesting. I had mentioned about this in yesterday's video. In case if you have missed it, I will place an I card. Please watch the video to understand how the price action works and why did I recommend this stock. Clearly we can see this was in a bullish chart pattern. This is ascending triangle pattern. It broke right here. This is a breakout of this bullish chart pattern. You should add some quantities here. Wait for a retest to add more quantities. As of now it's very bullish. It's trying to go higher. Today's high is at 0.508. More upside momentum is expected. Any dip from here is a buying opportunity. Then Bayanat is still slow. We can see it is resisting this trend line right here. This is resisting again and again. Once we see a breakout of this trend line, we can say now Bayanat is trying to become bullish. But for now, it's in a no trading zone. Taka is also slow. Manazil after making solid move to the upside. As of now, it's under pressure. But overall, this is bullish. To me, Manazil is still in positive territory. We are seeing some positive price action. I want to see a close above 0.410. I hope guys I have covered enough of stocks for today. Do not forget to support the channel. 
smash that like button subscribe for regular updates thanks for watching keep stalking